Chibanga kuogera bubi, wana duli agenze mchi, muntana, omugeza ategere, mukama abere na mwe. Well, many thanks for keeping it, the buzz UG, and uh, how are you doing today? A very good afternoon, I hope you are doing very fine. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and I'm coming to you with the stories making headlines in the country this afternoon. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has spoken out on the strategy of using guns to host President Museveni from power. Well, speaking to NUP diaspora leadership in Massachusetts, in the United States of America, Bobby Wine revealed that as NUP top leadership, if they wanted guns, they wouldn't find any problem getting them to host President Museveni, but they don't want to use that strategy. We want the entire world to know that we are the most moral people. We would have got guns to fight Museveni even though he has spent over 36 years in power and has been spending our taxpayers' money buying guns. Bobby Wine explained that President Museveni for a long time has been provoking them into violence so that he can finish them, but what they have in their hands, the power of the people, is more powerful than the guns and it can be used to defeat him completely. Well, relatedly, His Excellency Bobby Wine and Nubian Lee visited Mukono Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Betty Nambose, in the United States of America. Horrible Namboze fell sick last month and she was first treated from Uganda but without some improvement. She was then taken abroad for further treatment. Though she's still bedridden, Horrible Betty Namboze seems to be improving in her health and hopefully she'll be back to Uganda very soon. Horrible Namboze attributes her sickness to the struggles and torture she went through with police some time back that ended her back broken. Well, President Museveni has demanded for a comprehensive report on the cause of death of Jakana Naduli, a son to former minister without portfolio, Honorable Alhaj Abdul Naduli. <laughs> Jakana abadde ayogera bwogezi okusinzira mu ndowooza yange era kale tugamenti abadde ayogera bubi nnyo ne manya eriyata ayogera obubi ne government nava ebayo ne yetonda bachiba bachiba nga kuogera bubi wanna duli agenze muchi muntana omugeza ategere mukama abere namu President Museveni did not attend the barrio in person but sent his junior minister for Kampala affairs, Kawuye Chofa Togabie, to console the family of Al Haj Abdul Naduli. Jakana died yesterday and was laid to rest in Kadunda village, Kapeka, in Nakaseke district. Now, the death of Jakana has raised questions on the cause of his demise, with political opposition accusing the state security agencies of torturing him and worsening his health condition. Chima ni waburi omu, nti ya wambi wa, abandi badeba kumadembe, nebamu wamba mbumenyi wa mateka, nebamu sibira mbifo evita kilizi wa mateka, nebamu turugunya mungeri e ya amanyi enyo ngabu ya labika ngafuruma kufamu komera elio jevali wa musibide. Katibuke dele ronga mufu. 
okufa kwe kuina kubanga kuina akakwate kanene nnyo nibye yakaitamu embere yo no lwechi sobola kutuka ku buliyomu abadde musajja mukezi abadde musajja mu afora research ateze ku ntagala nnyo ebintu nga byayogera nga bikola amakuru nga tula one buliriza nzo manyi jagala nnyo kuliza abantu abogera nga subject je bogera ko bajina ko obumajiri ati jakana bwatu bwabadde nga yogerera buganda ayogerera uganda ayogerera abavubuka nayo gerero sosoze nika mukugira kwe ali info nenya mitte nyoro enfa yo musajjo yo yakana kubaye ba mukwata nali manya abajja muta munda muli nali manyi bajja muta kubana uli ya tata we abamanyi bonna abakwata bonna abamanyi bali bantu be atinaka na kubide kundi ne kubira kundi kati fete fete ku teli ko tuliza kubira tetu amanyi ne kati ya abamanyi naga na kubide kunda ne kati ne kati okuli ya to mwana ya budeyo na afu well, there you go. That is Dr. Kiza Besije and Joseph Kablata, the president of NEED political party. Now, police in Mukono are investigating a fire outbreak that killed 11 pupils of Salama School for the Blind in Mukono district in the wee hours of this morning, Tuesday. Well, according to a statement released by Luke Oesijire, the Kampala Metropolitan Police Deputy Spokesperson, the cause of the fire is yet to be established. Six other pupils, said to be in critical condition, have been brought in Mulago Rifaro Hospital. We had a metro making an alarm. We all jumped out of our houses. I stay here. The dome is there. We all rushed. Reaching there, we found when the fire had already uh, blocked all the doorways. Our men here uh, uh, tried to do their best. They pulled out those whom they could. They tried to bring sand. They tried to... We, 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 we rang uh, police. Phones could not go through. We told the border border guys who are close to us in Ipsoga to go to the to police to inform them. But the border borders were just fearing children carrying them away to hospital. And they did a very tremendous work. Well, this is so bad, and uh, may their souls rest in peace. Well, that's it for now on the Buzz UG. And of course, I'm still right here gathering more stories for you. So what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.